Have we got an entire industry full of CEOs that get out of bed every morning and say, do you know what, I know I've got to change the insurance world, but over the top of that, I'm going to keep all the minority groups and women out of the senior ranks of my business. Have we? Of course we haven't. And yet when we look at it, it's true and it's happening. And it's happening because of hidden bias rather than anything conscious. At any one time, you have 11 million bits of information coming at you. Imagine walking through the centre of the city of London. Everything that you can hear, everything that you can see, every hoarding you can read, everything that you can smell, every single individual facial feature on another human being registers as a piece of information. But your brain can only consciously deal with 40. There is bias that is buried so deep in your subconscious mind you could go to your grave and never, ever know it's there. So what are we worrying about then? Well, we're worrying because it's ticking away in your head all the time, whispering at you, creating stories about what certain multicultural groups look like, what they do, what they eat, how they smell, how they interact, what their educational background is. It's ticking at you now about me. It's the way you look at people. It's the way that you gesture to them. It's the words that you use. It's tiny, tiny, tiny little tells that really make a difference to whether somebody feels that they're included or feels that they are not. Ticking deep inside your brain, you have the amygdala. The amygdala are responsible for your fight or flight. That's probably how you've, you've heard of them before. What they actually do is demand adrenaline from your body when you are in a scary situation. However, through an accident of neuroscience, we now know that when you see a stimuli that is either a photograph of or the physical being of someone in your out group, your amygdala fires up in the same way it would do if you were standing in front of someone with a baseball bat in your kitchen. Just be aware that the triggering of your unconscious bias is also physical. If you allow yourself to get too low, if you allow yourself to be distressed, if you're flying from meeting to meeting, if you've got to make your mind up very quickly about something, all of those things will mean that your awareness of your bias goes down, your adrenaline levels go up, and your amygdala is very likely to kick in that hijack piece that means you are displaying your bias. In the 21st century, we are being stimulated with more difference than we have ever been before. In one day, you encounter more people, either physically or through technology, than people 100 years ago did in an entire year. Your brain is not keeping up with it. You have to put pause in. You have to add to your decision-making processes, and we need to think differently.